Welcome to the next installment of my Databricks Unity Catalog series. In this video, I'll show you how to create and delete catalogs and schemas using the Catalog Explorer UI and SQL syntax. Catalogs are the first layer of the Unity Catalog object model used to organize your data assets. Schemas, also known as databases, are the second layer of the object hierarchy and contain objects like tables and views. Okay, so to start with, let's create a catalog using the Catalog Explorer UI. I'm on a Unity Catalog enabled Databricks workspace. To create a catalog, you must be an Azure Metastore admin or have the Create Catalog privilege on the Metastore. You must also have a Unity Catalog Metastore linked to the workspace where you perform the catalog creation. And if you're using a notebook to create the catalog, then the cluster must be Unity Catalog compliant. I'll leave links with the video description for your reference. So to create a catalog, go to Catalog Explorer. You should see all of your pre-existing catalogs here. To create a new one, click on Create Catalog. Give your catalog a name. I'll just call mine Demo Catalog. For type, you have the option of standard or foreign. A standard catalog is managed by Unity Catalog, and this is what we want. A foreign catalog mirrors a database in an external data system using Lakehouse Federation. So essentially, a foreign catalog is a connection to an external data source, and I'll cover foreign catalogs in a later video. So we need to select standard catalog. For storage location, this is where the data for your managed tables and volumes, as well as the metadata files will be stored. You can specify another location and you can select another um, external location that you've registered, but I'll leave this blank because I want it to be the same as my Unity Catalog Metastore. But if you do specify an external location, then, like I said, the path must be defined as an external location. And in addition to that, you must have the create manage storage privilege on the external location configuration. Great. So let's create that. And that was successful. And as you can see, here is the catalog, demo catalog. To delete the catalog, when, you're, when you've selected the catalog, click on the ellipsis and then delete. And as you can see, here are the details for the catalog. You can assign permissions to different users, groups, and service principles to access the catalog. So as you can see, if I select grant, here are all the different privileges. And then you can also choose which workspaces to assign your catalog to. So currently, all workspaces that are linked to this Metastore will have access. But if you unselect this, then you can specify which workspaces should have access. OK, so now let's create a schema in our new catalog. So I'm currently in the catalog, and as you can see, there's an option to create schema. So let's click on that. So the UI is similar to creating a catalog. And to create a schema, you must have the use catalog and create schema data permissions on the schema's parent catalog. So I'll call this schema demo underscore schema. And similarly, you can choose a storage location if you leave this blank, then this will be the same storage location as your catalog. If you don't, and you specify a storage location, then this will be different to the root storage location of your Metastore and the storage location that you specify for your catalog. I'll leave it blank. And then click on Create. Great, so here's the catalog, and here is the schema. So here is the demo schema, and note, the default and information schemas are created by created automatically with the creation of the catalog. So this is the one I created. And if you go on details, you can get information about that schema. And to delete it, you can simply click on the ellipsis and then delete. Great. Okay. So now let me show you how to create catalogs and schemas using SQL syntax. So I'll navigate over to my workspace and open a notebook, which has got all the code. So this is the syntax for creating a catalog. You type create catalog, and then optionally, if not exists, followed by the catalog name. If you're using Delta sharing, then you can specify using share. 
And then similar to the UI, you can also specify a managed location by entering the path here. And you can also add comments that describe your catalog if you want. Okay, so let me create a catalog called Demo Catalog 2. So I'll insert a cell here and I'll actually just restart. I'll just select this serverless cluster. And then I will type create catalog. And then the catalog will be demo underscore catalog underscore two. And that's it. So I don't want to specify a manager location or add a comment. So let me run this. And as you can see, that's worked. So now when I go to Catalog Explorer, here is the catalog that I just created. And you can see the details here. Okay, so back to my workspace and back to the notebook. To create a schema, here is the syntax. You type create schema and optionally, if not exists, followed by the schema name. This should have the catalog name prefixed using dot notation to be explicit, which catalog you'd like to create the schema in. You can, you can specify a comment to describe the schema as well as a managed location. And then you, you can also specify properties using key value pairs. So let me create a schema called demo underscore schema underscore two in the catalog we just created here. So I can just type create schema demo underscore catalog underscore two dot demo underscore schema underscore two. And I don't want to specify any specific managed location or other parameters. I'll just create it like so. And let me run this. And now when I go to catalog, when I go to the catalog explorer, demo catalog two, here is the schema that I just created. Demo underscore schema underscore two. And here are the details. Okay. So now back to the notebook to delete a catalog or a schema, you can just type drop catalog or drop schema if exists, followed by the name of the catalog or schema. And then you have two optional parameters, restrict or cascade. Restrict is the default if nothing is specified. This just means it will prevent you from deleting a catalog or schema if any objects exist within that catalog or schema. So to drop a catalog or a schema that actually contains objects within it, you need to specify cascade. This will then drop all of the associated schemas and objects within them recursively. So let me drop the catalog. So to do that, I can just type drop catalog demo underscore catalog underscore two. Now, if I type it like this, it won't work because there are objects within it. Let me show you. So as you can see, that didn't work. So I need to specify cascade. So now this has worked and all of the objects within this catalog have also been deleted. So if I go to the catalog explorer, you can see it's no longer there. Similarly, if I try to drop this demo catalog using delete here, it won't work. This is because it's not empty. So to drop a catalog or a schema that is not empty, you need to specify cascade using the SQL syntax. Great. So in this video, I showed you how to manage catalogs and schemas in Unity Catalog. I'll provide some links with the video description for more information. So be sure to check those out. If you've liked this video, then please like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this.